It'll spawn in and jump on these. Hey everybody, Shabor here, back from another video, and today I'll be showing you how to make a disappearing block in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to view. It's at the top and click it. And then go to properties and exp or explorers. We're going to need explorer. I don't think we're going to be using properties for anything. We're going to open them both. Top left. Then they're both up here. Then you can go back to home. Now we're going to make the block that we're going to use. So let's click part at the top. Click that. Then a part will appear in front of you. Then you can go up here and then click scale. I already had it to selected, but you can click scale. And then you can scale it however you want using these. You can click it, then scale it. Then you have your part. You're going to want to go to properties. Scroll down until you find anchored. It's inside behavior. That will make it stay in place and not fall or um, be affected by physics. So I'm going to move it up using the move tool. Select it. Then I'm going to move it up. Then we're going to name this block. It doesn't matter what you name it, but I'm just going to name it block. I accidentally deleted it. Let me name it block. Click name and then block inside of data. Now go to explorer that we opened up before. Right click the block inside of it. It's inside of workspace. Right click that. Insert object. This will pop up. Click insert object and then this will pop up. Now we're gonna need, now we're going to insert a script. The script will probably be in here for you. Or up here. So there you go. And then you can rename the script whatever you want. I'm going to rename it scripting. Now you can start coding. So the first thing you're going to want to do is delete this. This first line right here. You can just go to the second line and then hold backspace. Now we're going to make our first variable. So local block, which is the block we're going to be using equals script.parent so we can use the block by using this any time in the script now we're going to make another one but this one is going to be a cooldown so local d about equals true we're going to be using this for our cooldown inside of our script now we're going to want to go to the fourth line or a third depending on how you want it now put block dot touched this will this will make whatever script you put below it run every time it's, the block is touched by something. Now we're going to put connect function. We're going to do this. Make sure it looks exactly like this. Go to the end of the line. Press enter. And end will be right here and your cursor will go right here. Now we can start the actual scripting inside of the function. So local humanoid. We're going to need to see if there's a humanoid inside of the part it hit. So we know if a player touched it or just a random part just fell on it or something. So local humanoid equals hit. Here's the part where we hit. Dot parent. Which is the parent of it. Find first child, which is a humanoid. Once you put that, you can go to the next line, then put if humanoid and d bounce equals equals true, then d bounce equals false. So the cooldown works and it can't be fired multiple times while it's already disappearing. Now we can do stuff with the block and make it look transparent and have like a little timer before it turns actually gone so 
block not transparency goes 0 0.5 so it looks like it will look like this looks slightly invisible before disappearing and then wait one so it's gonna wait one second block dot transparency equals one and block dot can collide equals false then we're going to add a cooldown we're going to add like a timer before it appears again so d bounce equals true then block dot transparency equals zero block dot can collide equals true so it goes back to normal after three seconds have passed you can change these to how long you want you can use decimals and stuff i'm going to keep it at one and three and this is how the um, disappearing block script works now you can exit from that clicking that clicking the x right there and going to base plate now you can click play it shouldn't be on play here we can click play or press F5 on your keyboard. You'll go in the game. You will have uh, your part there. And once you touch it, it will slowly disappear. Then you cannot touch it anymore. And it will go back after how long you set it to. This is good for making obbies and stuff. I'll show you how. I'm going to use the scale and move tool for this. So I'm going to select the base plane workspace. I'm going to scale it like that. I'm going to move the block like over there. I'm going to do that. Also, the thing I'm doing is pressing control D to duplicate stuff. Very useful. We duplicate it more. And then base plane, I'm going to duplicate base plane, move it over here. And then, once you press play, it'll spawn in and jump on these. Sometimes Roblox glitches and it doesn't detect you landing on it. Like, if you repeatedly jump, then it won't detect you landing on it. Because your feet aren't actually touching it. You're jumping before you actually land. Sometimes it registers, sometimes it doesn't. It's a Roblox problem. But yeah. That's how it works. Make sure to slap that like button and punch that subscribe button. Peace. This. <laughs> I forgot my outro for like 10 seconds.